Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. I'm here with you for another fab or fail foundation review. And with the warmer weather approaching, we're now in spring, it's moving into summer, I thought that I would do a waterproof foundation review for you guys. Today is a great day to do it because I am gonna be going to the pool, I'm going to the gym, and I might even hit the sauna. So I thought today would be a great day to do a waterproof foundation review. Now, I was planning on doing a completely different foundation for review next on my channel. I was actually gonna be reviewing the Huda Beauty Faux Filter and the Tarte Face Tape Foundation next, but because today's activity calls for a waterproof foundation, I thought it would be quite appropriate. So the foundation that I'm talking about is the Wonder 2 Last and Foundation Foundation. So before we get into all the nitty gritty about this foundation, I just wanna remind you guys, hit that subscribe button, smash that subscribe button now so that you guys won't miss out on any of my videos. I do everything from makeup reviews, unboxing videos, makeup tutorials, as well as fashion and style try-ons. And yeah, I'm gonna be doing also some travel vlogging here pretty soon because I'm going to Puerto Rico and Colombia and I'm gonna be vlogging my whole experience. If you guys like videos like that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But let's get into the foundation review of the day. So if you guys are interested in checking out what this foundation is all about, just keep on watching. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the claims of this foundation, the price, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. One side I'm gonna use my flat top Sony Kashuk foundation brush, which is like my go-to. That's how I like to apply my foundation in most cases. And then the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and work it in with a beauty blender. It's a long lasting 24 hour wear foundation. And it is also a waterproof formula. It's really hard to find foundations that are waterproof. So I really hope that this is really truly waterproof. Now it also says that it is a lightweight formula that remains ultra comfortable and flexible on the skin and it ensures that your base stays fresh, nourished all day. With just a small amount of product, you can be confident your skin will remain glowy, natural, waterproof, and transfer proof. And even pillow proof after those late nights. Wow, like that is a lot. Those are a lot of claims to make about a foundation, but if it does ring true, and this foundation does prove out to be waterproof, transfer proof, 24 hour wear, and pillow proof, that would be amazing. So I am definitely gonna be testing those out today. I'm gonna test out the waterproof aspect of the foundation. I'm also gonna be testing out whether or not it's transfer and pillow proof. The price of this foundation is $29.95, which I think is very fair and reasonable if it really does do all the wonderful stuff that it claims that it does. I also really like the packaging, so it does definitely look like a very luxurious type of foundation. Now I also have the Tom Ford foundation, which is the waterproof Tom Ford foundation. I will be reviewing that at a later date. Um, I do wanna do like a waterproof series, just because we're getting into spring, we're getting to summer. I'm sure you guys are looking for a good waterproof foundation, and I do have a few to talk about. The Tom Ford foundation is crazy expensive, and so when I saw the price on this, I was like, oh, if this is really truly waterproof, I'm all for it because the Tom Ford is super, super expensive. The color range is really limited. That is the one thing. They only have seven colors available. So I ended up getting the shade 20 sand. And now that I'm looking at it, you guys, I don't know if this is actually gonna be my shade or not, but the reason why I went with 20 sand instead of 30 nude, which is probably what I should have gotten, is I wasn't sure if this oxidized or not. So I was thinking if I go a little bit lighter and it does oxidize, then it might actually match. Or if it's still a little bit light, I can always bronze it up. So as with all of my foundation reviews, the information in the description box is going to house the primer that I use, the setting powder, and the setting spray. It's always gonna be the same for all of my foundation reviews. So if you're curious to know what I use, just go ahead and check out the description box. This is the foundation pumped out on my hand. As you can see, it's a really creamy, pretty thick formula. I mean, it's really holding on pretty well. It is sliding down a little bit. Ooh, yeah, this is not a good color match for me, but I'm hoping this does oxidize a little bit so that it darkens up after it dries down. So 
So using my foundation brush, you guys, it is really coming up really streaky. So I'm gonna go ahead and pounce over my skin using my beauty blender to kind of even this out. But this formula is a lot streakier than most when using my foundation brush. This initial layer that I put down, it definitely looks like a light to medium coverage foundation. It definitely is not a full coverage foundation. I see a lot of my redness peeking through, but it did a decent job at covering it. I'm gonna go in with the second layer just to see if I can build it up and cover some of that redness a little bit more. I'm seeing if I can kind of stipple it into the skin a little bit. If it goes on a little bit more evenly than when I use my other technique. So that doesn't look good at all. I gotta go back over with the Beauty Blender. I could definitely see where the product kind of picked up on the brush and left a little bit of patchiness and streakiness behind. So I'm gonna go ahead back over it with my Beauty Blender again. This side with the second layer, I still see a lot of pink coming through on my cheeks. So I would say that this is more of a light to maybe light medium coverage foundation. And it does look pretty though. It does definitely cover the vast majority of my skin. As you can see, this side is still very red, whereas this side is neutralized. It definitely doesn't have as much redness and it is a decent coverage. So I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender on this side now. I don't know if you guys can see this, but where I laid the foundation, if I go back over it with the Beauty Blender, it literally picks the product completely off and I have like a little circle here. Can you see that on my chin? So that's kind of interesting. I don't really experience that with other foundations and the application is, is definitely coming up a little bit tricky. Do you see what I'm talking about? Look at this. Do you see where I just touched it with my Beauty Blender, how it literally just came right off? Everywhere I go that I press the Beauty Blender over where I've already put down foundation, it just lifts off in a big circle. So this is definitely a challenging foundation to work with. Just be aware of that. I'm gonna let this dry down just a little bit before I go in with the second layer and see if I still have the same issue. Okay, I've given it about 20 to 30 seconds. So let's see what happens now. Do you guys see this? Like everywhere I touch it with my Beauty Blender, it literally just comes right off of the skin. So I went ahead and finished it. I finally got it to kind of blend in a little bit better. So my first impression after applying the foundation is that it is a really difficult foundation to work with. I don't know if I used actually my fingers to apply it, if I would have been better off doing it that way. But with the Beauty Blender and the brush, it was just very challenging to get it to really blend into the skin. Now it also isn't really settling into the skin. It doesn't feel like it's a part of my skin. I really do feel like I am wearing foundation. Typically with a foundation that is a lightweight to medium coverage, you just don't feel it on the skin. It kind of sinks in, but this foundation is really not sinking into the skin. The sheen and the dewiness that it gives is, is nice. It really is. However, I would not wear this all on its own. I would definitely want to powder it because it does feel a little sticky and tacky and I can't go through the day with it feeling like that. So I'm definitely gonna go and powder my face now. I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I'm gonna come back to you. I'm gonna do my first official check-in after my makeup is done. So I will be back right. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and finished up my makeup and I like it a lot better now that I went ahead and powdered my face. It definitely is not a foundation that I would personally want to wear without powder. It just stays too tacky. It just feels sticky on the skin. I didn't go in with really heavy powder, but I did just go ahead and dust it all over the skin like I normally do, and it still feels a little bit tacky. So it's kind of interesting. But we're gonna see how this plays out throughout the day. I'm gonna go ahead and Go towards the window so you can see what this looks like in complete natural light. You guys, so this is the foundation in natural light without use of beauty lights. I'm standing in front of this 
wonderful big window here. I'm gonna take my son to the pool. We're gonna hang out in the sun a little bit. We're probably gonna go do a quick workout and we're gonna hit the sauna. So I'm definitely gonna be putting this makeup to the test today. Now I will say that it does still feel tacky so it doesn't dry down 100%. I mean it's about 30 minutes later and it's still very very tacky. So I don't know how much I love that aspect of this foundation but it does look really really good. I think that overall it it looks nice it's a nice foundation so far later on I will be doing that transfer test that uh, it claims to be transfer proof so we're gonna put that to the test I'm gonna go out in this beautiful weather that we're having I can't wait to get out it's just such a lovely day and it's been raining so much lately that I need to go soak up some vitamin D right now so I will be checking in with you guys in a very short while to let you guys know how this wear test is going Hey you guys, this is my first official check-in. I have been wearing this foundation for three hours. I have been by the pool. I actually didn't go swimming officially, but I've been kind of lounging around in the sun, sweating a little bit, and um, so far this foundation is holding up decent. So I did just kind of touch my face here and the foundation completely wiped off. I mean, I had like a sunglass mark from wearing my sunglasses, and then I went to kinda go correct it, and I noticed that it completely took off the foundation. Um, but aside from that, you guys, it's holding up all right. So I'm gonna go actually do a full-on workout, and then I'm gonna go into the sauna. So that is gonna be a pretty rigorous test for any foundation, so let's see how this foundation does right after my workout and the sauna. I'll check back in in a few short seconds. Hey you guys, okay, so it's been about an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes since I last checked in and all together it's been four and a half hours since I applied this makeup. Um, I just got out of the gym. As you can see, I do have a good amount of sweat on my nose. I was sweating because I did work out and I did go in the sauna. So definitely got some sweat going on here. Overall, you guys, I think the foundation is holding up pretty good. Aside from the area which I wiped off, unfortunately, it really wiped off pretty easily. I really didn't touch my face that hard, but it wiped off pretty easily. So um, aside from that though, gosh, the foundation is holding up like pretty darn good. Oh no, it's four and a half hours, so we will see as the night progresses and uh, when I get home after I eat something and kind of chill for a little bit, I will be doing a transfer test, so stay tuned for that coming next. Okay, you guys, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, you guys, so I'm here with my final check-in of the night. I've been wearing this foundation almost 10 hours and I'm pretty impressed, actually. I can say that this foundation has held up pretty good, especially under the extreme conditions that uh, I was in, in the sauna, working out by the pool. I actually ended up getting a bowl of water because I do want to test the waterproof ability of this foundation even more. So I'm going to put water on my face and we're going to see how it goes. But um, the finish still looks pretty good. I dewed up a little bit in the forehead, so I'm a little bit more shiny, but not so shiny that I look like a grease ball. So I'm good with the finish that it has at this point in time, 10 hours later. It settled into this crease area just a little bit, but that just happened about, I don't know, 45 minutes ago. So I would say at the nine hour mark, I didn't have any issues in the crease area. It was holding strong in that area. It was really holding up for me. My nose looks good, except there is just a little bit of lifting in the nose area. But again, I was sweating pretty heavily in the sauna. And yeah, so I think this foundation actually is proven to be a pretty good one. Now I will say that it does feel like I'm wearing foundation on my face. It does not settle into the skin at all. So if that's something that you don't like, you probably won't like this foundation, but if you want to use it for the occasional time where you're going to go swimming, go to the beach, uh, if you're going to be out in humidity, this might be a good one for you. It does kind of feel like paint. That's kind of what it feels like on the skin. Um, and it is still a little bit tacky, so it never fully dried down. But I think that the occasional wear, this would be a good foundation. So let's go ahead and do two tests. I'm gonna do the transfer test. I didn't want to use a pillowcase. Sorry guys, 
I have a white clean napkin here and I'm just gonna press it on my skin and we're gonna see what comes, comes off, if anything. Okay, so there is a bit of transfer. So I wouldn't say it's 100% transfer proof, but it's not bad. I mean, it's not a whole lot of foundation that came off. Let's try on my forehead where I'm a little bit more oily. Okay, so I did have quite a bit of transfer onto the white paper towel for my forehead. Obviously, your natural oils can have a tendency of breaking down foundation, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little bit, so it's not fully transfer proof. I don't know, that was a pretty high claim for this foundation to be pillowcase proof. I wouldn't suggest sleeping in this on a white pillowcase or any pillowcase for that matter. Let me go ahead and do the water test. I'm actually gonna dip my face straight into this bowl. That's what I'm gonna do. And it's not warm water, so. Okay, I'm gonna probably be awake and it's late enough for me to actually go to sleep right now, but I'm gonna do this anyways for you guys. So I just did my lower face because last time I did my eyes and it was a mess, like my lashes were all over the place and uh, I couldn't see for the first couple of seconds coming out of the water. Water kind of does roll off the skin, I'm noticing. So it definitely does have a bit of water resistance to it. Now, is it fully waterproof? Let me see. Yeah, so it's holding up pretty fairly. Um, it is kind of coming off a little bit as I press on it and especially as I use the napkin to dry off my face. There is a bit of foundation coming off, but you know, it's not bad. It's actually doing a pretty good job of holding on. I definitely think that this is actually a pretty decent foundation for $29.99 for a waterproof foundation. It's not transfer proof. Um, I think it's a decent foundation. Now, if you can get over the application struggles, uh, then yeah, this could be a really good foundation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. Comment below, have you guys tried this foundation? Did you like it? Or are you guys considering picking up this foundation since you saw this review and maybe you're going somewhere tropical or you're going on vacation, spring break is right around the corner. Maybe you're thinking about ordering a waterproof foundation. So anyways, I hope you guys got a lot out of this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe. I'm tired, I'm ready to hit the sack now. I love you guys so, so much and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.